this to be balanced. This is why some knowledge seekers in transmutation have a problem, they don't go where they want to go, or they go where they want to go and do something. With the soul. But, they don't realize that when you go, we've done this with a number of knowledge seekers, because I, I always sit and think, and they're on the line, some of them, they can tell you, we ask them to go home and move something. They go home, they move a pot. But when they go home, in a real physical dimension, the pot is not moved, it says something wrong with them, you know, something wrong with it. They haven't learned that when you arrive to the home, you travel by sea, you have to go back to the dimension of soul of physicality, that you can physically move the cup to the new position, it will stay there, you come back, you go back to the strength of the field of the soul, and you come back, and you're back with me. And this is the problem with knowledge seekers. But if you know how to master, you can manifest yourself anywhere. When you arrive at the point to the transmutation, when you go home and you move the chair, and then you go home, the chair is not moved, if you say the move, when you tell me, I say, the guy hasn't learned yet. As a wise man, I do not humiliate you. I just keep to myself, this student has not matured yet. You can't give him the mark yet. But if you learn that you transmuted, why are you carry on with the energy in that position? You arrive to move a physical matter. You have to become physical to be able to move it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, that makes sense. The same thing is with the Masters, these people who do transmute, they know where to manifest themselves in that position. And this, our knowledge seekers haven't learned yet. Gradually they will learn. The uh, Indians have a beautiful say, and I love to always when it comes to me, says Neem Hakim Khatarijan, half a doctor is a danger to life because he doesn't know he kills the patient. You understand? He knows half of the meds. And it's uh, it's what knowledge seekers in last last Friday session was partially about this, if you feel good to see the light, and then I brought them back to physicality, took them back to the light, they feel the confidence they can move in this, then I asked them to move to the second light. The first light is usually gold, golden color, like a sun, is the manifestation of physicality. In some cases we see a light blue color in the soul, that means the human, the, the, the person is attached to this earth. It's so physical. Because blue is the sign of the, this is what we know as a blue planet. You understand later on what I mean. And then we ask them, this sort of second part, to go from one light to see if they can find another light. It means they have become so detached that they see the light of the Creator. But again in that level, the intensity shows how much The further you are, the brighter the light. The closer you are as part, there is no interaction but one. There is no light. When people be asked to go from dimension of the field of the man to the soul, when they speak about the bright light, green, the golden light, I saw the sun, is blah, blah, it means you haven't understood fully yet, because if you understand the process, that light has to be you, but you feel the, the emotion of the light, you never see the light. When you, when we ask you to go to the next light, and you say, I saw such a bright light, I see the power, the created light, the further you are, the brighter it is, the more you are part of it, there is no interaction, because it's, it's what we spoke with other, I think, a few minutes ago, 
when you bring the balance of the fields, you cannot be seen. How can you see the brightness? When you see nothing in that light, then you become part of the light. Then you come to feel the strength of the Creator. So, when, uh, let me explain to you something. I've said that before, but now maybe you understand the history of the Keshe Foundation. When I was sat in front of the candle, maybe half a kilo candle, big one, sat against the window, and I was told to look into the light, and the light, the candle flew. I said, I am the light, because I see the light of the Creator. And that was the point where I abandoned physical life, in that point of the spot. And I accepted the mission. You, you don't need to see, you feel the emotion of the light, and the same to be. Then this is very comes. And all of us have that capability. And that's what I said many times. Feel the emotion of the light. You don't need to see the light. And if you look at the People who wrote, we asked people at the end of the last Friday session to write if you, one wrote, she has a beautiful soul. In the first one, I saw the light. In the second one, I felt the light. Means I came in touch with the soul of the Creator. And then it becomes the touch. But as knowledge, because you don't understand what it means. But as a man who understands the process, being through the process is part of the process, explains where my students are, where your knowledge seekers sit in detachment, in understanding the field of the creator or field of the man. And when you speak it to me, when you write, I've seen such a bright light, I've seen the light. When you see the bright light, you're still confirming physicality. When you feel the light, you become part of the transmutation. Then you understand everything else, if you understand that, how these people transmute. And you don't do it for magic, you do it for satisfaction of the soul of the man himself and nothing else. People used to go on the donkey and go and see somebody because they wanted to go and see how the next city looks like. Now that donkey is the magnetic field of the universe. How do you want to travel on it? Right? 